This has turned into a how to make your team slash dunk contest. Guys, today is the day. Finally, showing you guys how to make your high school team. Matter of fact, this works for any team. If you're trying to make any team, these helpful tips that me and Tanner have for you are gonna be perfect. Tanner and I are gonna turn this into a little, a little shooting challenge. We're just gonna tell you guys the cheat codes right here to making any basketball team. It's straight cheat codes, all right? We're not trying to brag here, but we've made every team we've ever tried out for. So we're gonna try to share this knowledge with you guys so you can make any team out there also. Here you go, bucket time. So the shooting challenge we're gonna do, we're gonna shoot from a different, a few different spots, but I think we're gonna start out with half court. First person to make a shot from half court gets to share their cheat code with you first. So one cheat code at a time. All right, All right T, what you got? Now you're trying to tell these dudes how to make the team. Oh. Yes, that's right, let's go. Let's go. First try, what's up with that, huh? Tip number one, be in the best shape on your team or out of everyone that's trying out for the team. I guarantee if you're in the best shape, if you can run up and down past everyone on offense, defense, you're gonna make the team. So that is tip number one. So we're gonna give you the cheat codes and we're gonna tell you how to get there, all right? There's two ways to really get in good basketball shape. One, obviously, go out and play basketball. Timo and I, growing up, used to play for around two to three hours a day, and we both ended up playing Division I basketball. The other way is to get out and run. We usually run a couple miles. Just try to get in shape, get loose, go out, play basketball. That's the number one way to get in shape. All right, Timo, you're up. Where should we shoot from now? Corner. All right, corner pocket. Timo, go ahead. Here you go, Timo, first shot. Oh! Give me that thing, first shot. Oh my gosh, on fire. Let's go, two in a row. We'll take it. All right guys, these may seem like some simple tips and cheat codes, but if you do them, I guarantee you will make the team. All right, first one, you gotta be in shape. Gotta be in the best shape on your team. Second one, we're gonna do, you gotta be a consistent shooter, Timo. You gotta be able to make it when, and this is something everyone can control. You go outside, get your reps up, and you can become a consistent shooter. I'm talking someone that can just, consistently knock a shot down and be accountable for your team. And this comes with reps and confidence. If you can consistently shoot an open spot up three, there's a spot for you on that team. There's a lot of kids out there that make teams because they're consistent and reliable shooters that their teammates and their coaches can count on. Be in shape, the best in shape player on the court. Consistent shot, two down. Timo, what shot's next? Um, behind the backboard. I hope you can make one, Timo, okay? I really want to share all my knowledge with them, but you're Let's just hogging it all. Behind the backboard from, from the white line. Right back to me. Timo, not gonna lie, I missed it on purpose, I want you to make one. Uh-huh. Here we go, knock it down, Mo. Hey. Oh, okay, we'll the friendly that. bounce. All right, my man, all right. for the third tip in cheat code of the day. Third tip of the day, be a good leader. What a good leader looks like is high energy, communication, lean by example. What I mean is when you guys are in a drill, make sure you're always locked in, you're always focused, you're making sure that everybody else is focused so you guys know what's going on. Once you step on the court, you have to know what's going on. If you get in the, on the court during a tryout and you guys are running some play or some drill and you mess it up, coaches hate that. Like at all levels of basketball, they hate it. So make sure you're always engaged. And make sure your teammates are engaged. Make sure you're picking up your other teammates. So have high energy, communicate at a high level and be locked in. That's really what wraps up to being a good leader. So these things all tie in together. Being a good leader, great tip, Timo. Next shot, where are we at? Maybe that uh, Hakeem Skyhook. Nice. Guys, we know it's Kareem, okay? It was just mental error, all right? But we're gonna do it from three. Oh, came off. Make your coaches proud right here. Coaches proud? Yeah. This one's for you, Coach Deweese. Oh, no. No, Coach Deweese. This one's for you, Coach Russell. Yay. Oh, making the coaches That's what proud. It was. Coach Russell. Great shot, Timo. My guy. Nice. Fourth tip of the day on how to make your team 
rebounding. Oh, go get it, go get it. <laughs> Look at that. that. Oh, oh, that's what rebounding gets you right there. All right, exciting plays. Timo, tell, tell them what you are. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna brag for you, bro, okay? Tell, tell, them, tell them that record you hold. I do hold a record, the University of Northern Colorado, for the most rebounds in a single game. I had 18 rebounds. Wow. Pretty good, but I should have had like 20, because I had 12 in the first half, but. You can always improve is what you're trying yeah, to say. Yeah. That's Improving great. For improving. That's a great mentality to have, always trying to get better. Guys, rebounding is one of the most important parts of the game. If you can't rebound, the coach is gonna take you out of the game just like that. It doesn't matter how many points you're scoring, whatever. It's gonna be, a, the other team's gonna get more possessions, they're gonna get more points, they're not gonna play you. So you've gotta rebound. Rebounding is one of the reasons why I play college basketball. If, if you can rebound at a high level, the coach has no choice but to put you in the game. Even if you're not a great scorer, any of that, if you can rebound, every team needs one of those guys. So just being aggressive, going in there, grabbing the ball with two hands and then getting it to your point guard or whatever it might be, even if you're a guard. And Timo, how did you score most of your points in college? Guys, most of my points was putbacks. I wasn't like an ISO guy like, oh, buh, 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 like this. Most of mine were like going, getting a putback, oh, laying, going, grabbing an offensive rebound, boom, boom, and one, stuff like that. Like, that's the reason why they played me. I wasn't a high level scorer, but the coach had no choice but to play me because I rebounded at a really high level. Bingo. Love it, man. Tip number four rebounding. Also, Timo, the score right now is two uh -oh. to two. What shot do we have next? Finish it with a dunk or something? Yeah, got to. Uh, what do you think? Last shot off the glass dunk? Ooh. Yeah, off the glass dunk. All right, let's get it. Let's get weird. You go up first. All right. Best of luck. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. I did this for you guys, all right? We're almost to 250,000 subscribers. If you haven't smashed that subscribe button, make sure to do that now. I appreciate you guys so freaking much. And I'm glad we can make these videos for you. Just trying to help guys get better at basketball, have fun, and improve their game. Right here, Timo, you're up. Do a little, little dunk contest, and we'll have the judges score it for the last one. We'll hit the dunk contest, and we'll let them judge it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> might as well spice it up then, huh? Oh, he smokes his first attempt! This wind is not helping the lob throws right now. Might but be a storm rolling in. Looking a little sketchy. Timo is trying to get weird on that dunk. I'm gonna get weirder. Oh! oh. No! It's for all the marbles, man. Going back to it. Oh, rogue toss. It's a tough one. The no look toss is slept on for difficulty. I want to give these guys something they haven't seen me do before. But I don't know. Oh, hey! No. We'll take that. We'll take that. Team up. You get a shot at it too? Yeah, we might as well. All right, we'll go dunk for dunk, dunk right it's here. It's only fair. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you snuck it in. You snuck it in. Timo, what are, the, what are the judges gonna say on that one? Guys, I don't really care what they say because it was a dunk, so whatever. <laughs> we gotta go to round two is what you're trying to tell no, me? let's do it. All right, here we go. Man, this one's gonna get weird, all right? Hey! <laughs> oh, Timo, I've never done that before. That was sick. Am I good to land? Uh, yeah, you're good. Am I good to land? Yeah, come on, bro. Referee, get the defender out from underneath me. Let's go. I'm hyped about that one. I just want you guys to know I've never tried that before in my life. Timo, good luck. I don't know if I can do that. You got it. You almost freaked it. This has turned into a how to make your team slash dunk contest. Guys, I know I lost, but I'm gonna try it again. What you got, T? Okay, okay. It was light. That was something slight. Not as impressive as AJ. It's pretty impressive for AJ. Man. I haven't seen him do that. Thank you. For the fifth and final cheat code to making your team, this one, will for sure get you on your high school team, your middle school team, your JV team, freshman team, whatever. This one will get you on the team, all right? The fifth and final cheat code from Tanner and I, you gotta be a great defender. And hey, this may seem difficult, but all it comes down to is passion and heart, Timo. I've seen some unathletic dudes play some great defense before. Tanner's got an even better story about one of his teammates in college 
that went from a walk-on to earning a scholarship simply because of his defense. Not only did this kid come, he walked on, scrawny little kid, didn't play at all, he was like a red shirt. He played the next year. Guys, as a walk-on, he got Defensive Player of the Year in that our conference. That is unheard of. Division one Defensive Player of the Year in our conference. The next year, coach puts him on scholarship. The coach has no choice at this point got to, to put him on scholarship. And then at this point, he's got other schools like hitting him up because they want him to come there too. So then he comes back next year, gets defender, defensive player of the year again. Back-to-back -back years, defensive player of the year, walk on, red shirt. What more do you guys want? Guys, any of you guys can do this. He wasn't the most talented. He wasn't the fastest. He definitely wasn't the biggest, but he just played the hardest. Every single possession, he was out there playing defense like crazy. He was locking up guys that were like in the NBA now. Like any team we played, UNLV, Colorado, our coach would our coach knew that we could put him on a, on their best player and he would lock him down no matter what. That's great. Shut your bro out. My man, Jonah Radaba, my guy. Let me tell you guys. It's a rare situation for a guy like that to earn a scholarship, but all it came down, he's got the heart of a lion, man. This dude was so impressive to watch playing defense. I enjoyed watching him play defense. That doesn't happen often. Jonah's situation is rare, but it can be done. If you guys want to make the team, you got to be a great defender. It comes down to heart, anticipation, and just your all-out hardworking effort. That's all defense is. And if you guys follow these five tips, I'm pretty much guaranteeing you guys will make the team, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys have been asking for it and I'm glad to bring it to you. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. We'll catch you next time. Peace! Here we go, Mo. Oh no, I gotta get that. I gotta get that. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace! Oh. Yes! We're counting it! Thanks a ton for watching, guys.